I was raised here in Philadelphia. I used to pick up stray cats, dogs. I would just find them and try to take care of them. Around the age of nine, you know, things started to change in my life. I started to experiment with drugs. I started to rob people. At the age of 18, I was on a bus going to the roughest maximum security prison in the state of Pennsylvania. While I was in solitary, I reflected upon who I was. And I was in prison because of how I lived my life. I promised myself that I was gonna work to be a different person and do things different. When those dogs came into the building, they didn't care that I was wearing a prison suit. They didn't care about none of the things I've done in the past. They greeted me with their tails wagging. It was just about me and that dog. And I, I really learned the value of unconditional love. The executive director of Canine Partners for Life came and she talked to me. And she said, I'm really impressed with the work that you're doing with the dogs. I want to hire you when you make parole. Making that choice and participating in that prison dog program opened the door for me to a career that may have been there for me all the time. We essentially save dogs that are at risk for euthanasia at a kill shelter. We place them in a the prison. We pair them up with uh, two inmates who work together to give these dogs their basic obedience training for 12 weeks. The dogs love it and the inmates get very connected very quickly. They view these dogs as having very similar experiences as they have had in their lives. They've been unwanted, neglected, abused. They're not socialized properly. They, they don't get the supports they need and they feel really connected to these dogs. It's a great opportunity, but not everybody seizes it. And for the ones who do participate and the ones who do complete the program, they have a high rate of success because they're highly motivated. Our recidivism rate for the inmate trainers in our program is about 15%. And in the general population at this prison, it's about 60%. Rob is amazing. This is a person who went from the depths of despair in a, in a prison, in a tough prison with no hope, nothing. I had 12 years to make up. I really didn't even know who my family was. My new journey in saving the animals' lives, I get to pay back to my community. That's a win-win for me for the animals, for my community, nobody loses.